Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is a CCM Trigger 4 Pro stick review. Um, so first off the bat, the naming convention of CCM sticks now is kind of all over the place. So once upon a time, the top end uh, or the second tier warrior sticks were called Pro, or they still are. There's the like Alpha QX Pro, DX Pro, QRL Pro. Those are the second tier. They're called Pro because they had like no... So it wasn't paint, it was just clear all the way through. And it was what they use on like team sticks and stuff like that, or like not professionals, but like one set, it was weird. Then Bauer came out with their pro lines. So their top sticks were like 2N Pro, um, 2S Pro. You get the, the, the gist of it. Bauer was doing that for a bit. Um, and then CCM decided to jump on the pro bandwagon. So this line of sticks that came out um, is there was the AS2 Pro, there was the FT2, not Pro, there's no Pro for FT2, just FT2. And then there is the Trigger 4 Pro. So yes, um, anyways, <laughs> now that that's out of the way, this is the best stick I've ever used. And obviously that's a personal preference thing. Um, I love the Trigger line. This family of sticks is my favorite group of sticks I've ever used. Um, I love the low kick. I think this kicks has a quicker release than anything else on the market. Um, it's better than the fly light, like hands down, it's better than the fly light. I would totally tell people to get this instead of the fly light easily. It's not as light as the fly light. It is, I think just under 400 grams now, but it is about an inch longer. I think these are 61 inches where like Bowers are 59. Um, so give CCM props for that. But this stick is basically the perfect example of why CCM making a new stick every year is a waste and shouldn't be done. So I think there is a two year or a two year gap for these, a year for these, and then a year for these. So for, like the gap between the ASY and the Trigger 2 was pretty big. Um, you could tell the taper changed pretty significantly. You can kind of tell down here it like the, the geometry of it changed and this one's much lighter and I think it kicks better. Um, the trigger three to the trigger two. So again, that geometry changed a little bit. You can kind of see it right here. It's a little bit different there. Um, the weight, the balance shifted on it. I don't know if it's any lighter, but the balance shifted on it. So the trigger two felt heavier in the shaft where the trigger three, in my eyes, was heavier on the blade, which actually made it easier for stick handling and stuff like that. Um, it, it's a good stick, but the difference, so I did a blind test on these and I couldn't tell like which one shot better. Like if one kicked better, or, like one felt better, I couldn't tell. Cause in my opinion, they feel the same. And then this came out. And this is a totally different shaft shape, which hopefully this shows up on camera. Um, so this side is convex. And this side, again, sorry, hopefully this is on. This side is concave. So you have your nor like your traditional trigger kind of shape right here on the taper. And then they flipped it on the other side. So now this is really the like asymmetrical design. And the interesting thing about this, and I have to give huge props to CCM for this, is because theoretically they had to make, actually they do, they had to make two molds for these. So they can't just build out shafts, put a blade in it, and then depends on whatever side. Because these are totally different shapes. Now maybe comp stick companies are already doing that, but just hear me out for a second. Because these are totally different shapes, they have to make a right and left um, like mold for them. So that's more work on CCM's part and it's really impressive. This stick kicks like nothing else. It's, in my opinion, the quickest releasing stick there is on the market. I love it. It's just phenomenal and I have to give huge props to CCM for it. But at the same time, I'm gonna say this stick shouldn't have existed and it should have been the Trigger 2 for two years and then the Trigger 4 and the gap would have been even bigger. So I don't, like, CCM's really got to get out of that. And I think they're kind of moving away from that. Bauer used to do every year thing and then they got away from it. And then CCM is now doing every year thing. I think they're getting away from it, but we'll have to see once their whole next lines come out. Um, but again, that's me kind of venting about this. So the one thing that disappoints me on the Trigger 4 Pro, and it's kind of a, it's again, a, a CCM thing. CCM sticks just have awesome texture on them. So hopefully this comes up on camera. 
but you can, there's like square raised texture on the grip. I love that. Also, this is like a green tint. It was really cool and unique. They totally kiboshed that idea, which again, I thought was really unique and looked really good. On the Trigger 2, it still had the raised texture here, but it was less than what it was on the ASY. On the Trigger 4, the raised texture is very, very minimal on here. You can barely feel it. Um, again, going, going away. And the Trigger 4 has no raised textures. I'm a huge fan of that. The reason being, I like the tech, like the tactile feel of when you're moving your hand up and down. You kind of just get a little bit better idea of where your hand is on the stick. Um, Supreme still have it. Old Bauer sticks had it a lot and old Warriors had it. And now kind of everyone's going away from that. I wish they'd come back to it because you can't order, like you can't do my CCM like my Bauer does and get that on there without going like full custom. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. But again, that's me more complaining just the way CCM's going, their route, they're going for retail. But anyways, everything about this stick is awesome. I wish they offered it in a max height blade, but they're not doing that max height anyways. They're going with a different curve. It's kind of a hybrid of two, so you're not really ever going to get that. But this stick is, everything about it is really good. It feels interesting in the hands because one side is con convex while the other side's concave. So your fingers kind of fit in here, but it kind of fits nicely into your hand here. It's really interesting. It's almost similar to how the Nexus ADV was how it's like two different, both sides are shaped differently and it feels interesting in your hand. So I gotta give him props for that. This thing is really bothering me. Um, so it's a great stick. I totally recommend it if you like low, like low kicks. Um, the blade is stiff enough, but it is dampened. So it's not like crazy pingy like the Flylight. Basically it's stiff on the toe and now it's stiff here. I have no problems with it. I love puck feel with it. I love passing with it. I love shooting with it. It's just awesome like i'm a huge fan of this stick um for a while i was testing so many sticks that i didn't use a trigger for a while so i went back to my three after using a fly light and like a bunch of other things first shot i took took i looked at my girlfriend I'm like oh that's i forgot why i like trigger stick so much that that's why i like trigger stick so much and then i managed to grab one of these and i took a shot on it and i was like okay that's on a whole new level um and the weight on this one is just unreal compared to this. It, they dropped the weight significantly, so huge props to CCM on that. They did an excellent job on this stick. I just don't think it should have came out a year after this. I think this stick shouldn't have existed, but that's another story that I keep coming back to. Anyways, huge fan of the Trigger 4 Pro. CCM deserves huge props. It's an excellent stick. Um, it's basically my favorite stick right now, and I think the best low kick stick, including better than the Flylight. Um, so that's about it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, hit the bell icon to get notified of when I make new videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are below. Right now I'm doing a series on all the sticks I have on Twitter where every day I shoot 30 targets, enough pucks until I hit 30 targets of a different stick in my inventory. Talk a little bit about the stick and a small write-up. So if you are interested in videos like this, you might be interested in that. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.